I'm Jean, and this is the English Experience. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Today, we're going to talk about something everybody loves, food. Food and flavors. Let's get started. first take a look at some different types of food and that will make it easier for us to talk about these different flavors and textures okay so take this do you know the name for this food well sometimes we call it junk food or we call it a snack because it isn't a meal and it's not so healthy for you but <laughs> Those are, of course, potato chips. What is the texture of potato chips? How do they feel? We have a word for that. That word is crunchy. Crunchy. Because when we bite it, it's like, <laughs> it's kind of hard. And so we can say potato chips are crunchy. How about the taste? How do they taste? Well, there's something very distinct about potato chips, something that they have in common, and that is usually salt. So we can also describe their flavor as salty. Potato chips are salty and crunchy. What are some other things that are crunchy? I think carrots, this vegetable, when you bite it, it's very hard, right? So that word is crunchy. Let's look at another. Hmm, what is this? Cake. And how does cake taste? Well, there's, there's sugar in it, right? So the cake tastes sweet, yeah? Usually desserts like cake, ice cream, cookies, these things all taste sweet. How about the texture? How does cake feel when you eat it? So um, there, it, it depends. It depends on who makes the cake because sometimes the cake is very dry. Ugh. But other times, if it's a good cake, it's moist. So we use that word moist to talk about cake if it is um, very soft, you know, and when you eat it, it melts in your mouth. Everybody likes a moist cake. Um, how about this food here? That's a familiar one. Peppers, peppers. How do we describe the, the taste of peppers? The taste. It depends because if the peppers are very hot, we would call them spicy, spicy. Peppers are spicy. And if they're uncooked, and you eat them uncooked, maybe they're crunchy. Maybe the, uh, the texture is crunchy. How about coffee? Coffee is one of those things that a lot of people enjoy. Some people like their coffee sweet and they will use sugar and milk, but other people prefer their coffee black. I don't like black coffee because the taste is bitter, bitter. That is a word that we use to describe things with a strong taste, but it isn't a sweet taste. <laughs> For example, coffee or wine or even beer. These things are not sweet, but they have a strong flavor. So we could describe them as bitter. 
Now, what is this? Do you know what we call this meat? This meat is called steak. And there are lots of ways that people prefer to eat their steak. For example, well done, um, medium well, medium, medium rare, and then rare. So people like their steak cooked differently for different periods of time. But I think that the one thing everybody has in common when it comes to steak, we want it to be tender, tender. And that's a word that we use to describe something that is, um, it's kind of soft, like not soft, but just easy, easy to cut, easy to chew, um, which is not so common for meat. That's why people usually want their meat cooked in a way where it's tender. Ah, this steak is so tender. It was delicious. What about this fruit? What is the name of this fruit? We recognize that, that is a lemon, a lemon. And how do lemons taste? Well, when you eat them, it's like, you know, you make that face, right? So the word we use to describe the taste of lemon is sour, sour. Lemons are sour. That's why if we make lemonade, we have to put sugar in it. So lemons are sour, limes are sour. Hmm, at the moment, I can't think of any other sour foods. There are some uh, different types of candy that are very sour. I like sour candy. I hope you enjoyed that video. Did you already know some of that vocabulary? I would encourage you to look in your refrigerator and see what foods are salty, sweet, crunchy, spicy, sour, bitter. Use these words and get familiar with them because they will make you much better at describing food, describing the things that you like when it comes to food. And that is very, very handy, especially if you travel and you've gone to an English speaking country or you want to go to an English speaking country and you're sitting in a restaurant, that way you can describe the things that you like and the things that you don't like. Excuse me, waitress, this is too salty. Or um, yeah, this, this is very dry. This cake isn't moist, it's dry. I don't like it. <laughs> So you can use this vocabulary so that you can talk to others and tell them what you like and don't like when it comes to food. So again, uh, if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button, hit the like, leave me a comment, and I'll see you next time. Bye.